Hi there folks, this is Dan Bell. I'm just going to create a follow-on video here about working with Intro Project Dependencies. This one's going to look a little bit at the effects of changing dates between the projects. Um, first thing I need to do is create a relationship between my projects and remember if you recall before, um, I do that using a blank project and then from the project ribbon, I select insert, so, so project, uh, discover is first, bring that in, followed by development, followed by, lastly validation, there are the projects, go to the view ribbon, all subtasks, and there are my projects, and we'll go ahead and widen that a little bit. All right, let's create relationships. When one phase completes, here's the milestone to complete. The next one begins. That's the beginning. Make sure you make your relationships to detail tasks, not summaries. There's a relationship there, and you can see the highlight showing what dates change. Again, development complete from development phase to the beginning of the validate phase. Create the relationship. Can we see more highlighting? Um, noting the changes in the dates. So now the project schedule reflects reality. If I were to go here, right, we can see how the projects fall in the Gantt chart. If you recall, I don't want to save the blank project, therefore I click Files Close. And for Project 8, which is the blank one, I select No Discard. But for everything else, I do want to change, and I will just select Yes to All. Now let's assume we'll do a little role playing here. We're the project managers. And each project manager would open their project, and I'm open discovery phase. Here it is, and we'll check it out. And part of the process here is to, at least in my project management practice, I will save baselines for everything here. Right? And if I want, I can do a quick look here. Baseline start, there it is. That's good. File, info, publish. And then we'll go ahead and exit out of that. Yes, I'll check it in. Next project. Browse. Development was next, if you recall. Check it out. Set baseline. There we go. What do we do? File, info, publish. And then once I get control back, I'm going to go ahead and close out of that. And then last but not least, we'll go into validation. And we will do the same thing. Check it out. Set baseline. Set it. File, info, publish. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, so now I have the relationships between the projects as well as I've also saved baselines just for good measure. Now let's go ahead and run through a scenario. I am the project manager of development. Nope, excuse me, not development. I am the project manager of discovery. Open discovery. And what we can say in this particular instance is that uh, perhaps discovery took longer than what it was supposed to, right? Maybe it took 35 days instead of 28. Change that. Blue highlighting shows everything that changed. Remember, here was the start date. It was the 29th. Uh, baseline start was the 29th. It still is the 29th. The big difference is going to be the finish. It shows 8.5. Now it's 8.16. Okay. Um, so that's that's really what's going to reflect the change is the milestones now completing at 816 whereas before it was 85 and that's going to impact right the dates of the other project and you can see here we have some uh, baseline dates in here and that's what they're going to update to eventually so what I want to do here is select file info published and that was basically me managing this project close it well now what happens to the person that's managing development right how do they know when to start well they'll open up the development project and what happens is my link between project dialog shows up automatically before I engage with that you know, let's just take a quick look here again remember the previous dates so let's see if we have something in here baseline start yeah we have baseline start baseline finish right so baseline yes yeah, things things are still looking looking up and up here Okay, but what I want to do is, um, you know, what is what is actually the change that's going to be affected by that project in which it was delayed by another eight dates? Well, if I click link between projects in the project group and bring that back up, I'm going to take a look at this, and it's showing me 
the only the basically the link we're concerned with is perform development activities which is number three it starts basically when discovery is complete you can see right there that's the related okay and if we scroll over here it says the date is 85 okay interesting and then what is the difference that's the important part is the very last column differences task to start on 816 task to finish to Tuesday on 816 so there's the difference it changes from the 5th to the 16th right that's gonna be what changes in my project so I currently see five there okay that's gonna change to the 16th and this will probably update to you know 15 16 17 18th maybe uh, we're gonna accept you don't see any changes just that you have to actually close out of the dialogue so when we close out of this dialogue watch these dates up here in rows change and there you go 816 now is the date 817 is when the development activities will start so remember that was the baseline finish date baseline start and finish 85 and 85 now that changes okay based on the predecessor above to 816 816 and now it starts 817 finishes 927 so that's how the impact is going to reflect there now if you also take a look at this development complete was scheduled to finish on 916 right now it's going to finish on 927 what's the impact on validation well we're going to go ahead and open validation now okay so we went ahead and published that we'll close it check it in and let's go ahead and open my validation project this time we're just going to read the dialogue here okay what i'm mostly concerned with are <clears throat> the 916 date what is that going to change to 927 and which one is it validate performance right so it's saying this task is basically starting when it is because of the predecessor development complete which is there and it's kind of a little grayed out because it's not really in this project physically but it's the predecessor so it's shown as almost like a ghost task what it's saying is it was going to start 916 or that was going to finish on 916 however now it's going to change to 27 we'll click accept and there you go your dates changed to the 27th check it out file info publish and if i wanted i could certainly right click that basically start baseline finish and I can see the changes right here baseline start was 916 now it's 917 was 919 now it's 928 okay and your overall finish but you know what's that going to look like here as well right is that going to change much excuse me so your baseline start was 107 now it's 1018 your baseline finish was 1018 excuse me your baseline finish was 107 now it's 1018 right so that's how you basically handle intra-project dependencies and how you work with and you know, why you don't necessarily see the dates update automatically. You have to go ahead and, and interact with the links between project dialog because Microsoft is basically giving you an opportunity to look at the changes before you let them affect your project. All right, awesome. Well, I hope you folks uh, got a little something useful out of this. And, um, please leave any comments, suggestions for other videos that you'd like to see. Otherwise, have a wonderful day. Thank you.